Hmm. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am your host, known here on YouTube, Daily Motion, Vimeo, MySpace, and perhaps many other places. On the internet, I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty. Mm. Let me do that again. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm your brother. And hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra, the mighty, 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 and your snubbed up seven. Yes, yes. I want to take a few moments, a few boring moments, for those who care to listen. Most of the things that I talk about is boring. For those who have childlike, immature mentality. So, since we have childish mentality, then we are, or we gravitate towards videos that are three, four, five minutes long. We seek to be entertained or whatever and go on about our business. Our attention span is short. That is expected from a childlike mind. When you look at baby animals, when you look at baby human beings, that's a sign of immaturity. That's a sign of infantile mentality. As an adult, an adult studies as long as it is necessary whatever they choose to study. Because as an adult, your mind is mature and your mentality should be more of a serious nature. Because you want to know something. You are trying to learn something. But as a child, you are here. Your mind is there. You're everywhere. That is expected from children. Childlike mentality. Someone asked me, brother, more people will listen to you if you made your videos under 10 minutes. Four or five minutes. I do not need listeners like that because this gives us a sign they are of childlike mentality. They are not thinkers. They don't study. They wish not to do any research. There is no school that you can go to where a class is three to five minutes long. Whether you like me or not or agree with me or not. I am a teacher. I am an elder. I am teaching from my experience in life, from my study, not from three or five minutes of a video, my study in this life, my study of the education that has been presented to me that took longer than three or five or ten minutes that you get in a video. Because I want you to learn. I want you to think for yourself. I want you to be able to analyze. I want you to be able to investigate. There is no investigation that lasts three to five minutes. There is no class that lasts three to five minutes when you are trying to learn something, when you're trying to study, when you are trying to evolve your mind. That is good for children looking for entertainment. So if you're looking for entertainment, this venue is the wrong venue. Go get your entertainment somewhere. Because here is not entertainment, but edutainment or an education. 
not an opinion. This is for us to learn. You learn from me and I learn from you. We learn from each other. We are here to share information. You cannot share good information. I said it again. You cannot share good information in three to five minutes. You can give your little tacky opinion or you can offer entertainment in three to five minutes. We are not here and I am not here. This ministry is not here to entertain nobody but to educate your mind and cause you to grow. But for those who wish to continue to be childlike in the mind, for those who wish to continue to be children of God, but you have no desire to grow up and you want to be a child, you want to be a kids or us, what's that? Toys or us kid. That's what you want to be. Then you can be that. But don't come here trying to perpetrate a fraud Acting like you want to be an adult when you, in reality, are a child. Either you are going to be an adult and you speak and act like an adult or just stay and go to where they serve as children. Go somewhere where they have sand castles and merry-go-round and all those things and dolls or whatever that you need these Xboxes and video games that they entertain the child's mind. But here we are here to educate one another and inspire one another to, to your fullest potential your fullest greatness. As great as you can be. And all of us are great. You don't have to be somebody famous. In fact, you could end up and you could turn out to be somebody famous. But we are all great because all great people stand on somebody. Michael Jackson did not become great by himself. There were many fans, there were many things up under Michael Jackson that pushed him to that level of greatness along with his talent. But without the fans, without the people that bought the records, without the ones that listened to the music, he could not have reached that magnitude. All your famous people in our struggle of black liberation, from Martin Luther King, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, Nat Turner, everybody had somebody to help them, to lift them up. And when they became great, then you became great. Even though nobody knew who you were. I helped somebody become great. You help somebody become great. And we help people become rich every day. But nobody knows who we are and don't care. But I care. And we are here not talking because I want to be great. But because... We're talking because you're my brother and you're my sister. We are together in a struggle learning and sharing information so that we can empower ourselves. So not only one person can stand out, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Louis Farrakhan, whoever, but we want to be great as an entire people. It's beautiful to have a great actor like Will Smith, a great singer like Prince, a great corporation like Bob Johnson created in black entertainment television, BET. Oh, that's nice. But what we are striving for in this struggle is the greatness and to show the potential of an entire people that all of these come from. And those who are great must understand. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care who you think you are. You are no greater than your people. So Oprah is still called a nigger. Will Smith is still a nigger. Jada Smith is still a nigger. 
Colin Powell is still a nigga as far as many folks are concerned because you come from up out of niggerdom. Your people is still in bad shape. And you can live in delusion and fantasy la la land because you think because cameras are in your face. Because you drive a fancy car and live in a fancy house, you think you're beyond those things. But in this world, somebody sooner or later going to show you you ain't no better than those you come from out of some ghetto. We are not no better. That was not, that's not my subject. <laughs> I don't know how I uh, went in that direction, but everything that we share with each other, it's all good. Now, Please allow me to speak upon the chosen topic. And the chosen topic is that this struggle needs you. This thing that we call black conscience, this thing that we call black power, this thing we want to be shown black love. It is in need of you. It is in need of us. I want to begin by saying this. Uh, when I was in the nation of Islam, under the leadership of Brother Louis Farrakhan, Well, actually, prior to that, when I was a little boy, I was inspired by the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Most of you who have listened to my uh, videos and have spoken to me, you know this. After listening and after the application of the messenger of Allah's teaching, I wanted to be part of what he represented. Unfortunately, when he was among